What's everyone, GT here today, and you're probably wondering, why are my controllers missing from my wall? Well, in case you're asking, on my last video that I did a week ago, yes, I know, a week ago, uh, Xbox One Game Collection, someone asked me, hey, do your controller collection, Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo, so I decided, hey, why not do my Xbox One controller collection? So that is what we're gonna do today. So I've been gone for a bit, but there's a different story to that and I will upload later on. I've just been pretty busy. I know my schedule already. I just upload randomly now. So let's go ahead and uh, show off my controller collection for the Xbox One. Alright, so my controller collection is not that big. I probably got roughly 11 Xbox One controllers in this game room setup and I probably have like two more downstairs in the living room which I don't want to include because just the day one edition and another Halo controller but let's go ahead and get started with the first one I have the JD Phoenix Blue Gears of War 4 collectors controller and as you can see here it gets the designs Gears of War blue lettering the gunmetal gray got some etching here you get the logo in the back as well so you see that you got the blue you got some more blue thumbsticks and this is the new xbox one s version which you get the auxiliary for your headset so this is the jd phoenix and this is number one moving on we are doing controller number two this is a scuff controller uh try to take a guess where i picked this controller up so uh if you haven't guessed it I got this from Amazon, pretty cheap, fully customized. So yes, Scuff does sell quick ship controllers off of Amazon. And by the way, I will put all the links in the description below for each controller if you're interested in picking one up. So yes, I picked this all blacked out controller, Scuff Infinity One, Xbox One version from Amazon, which is pretty cool. And I got it at a cheap price. I didn't even have to use a code, no code nade or none of that stuff to get it even cheaper. It already comes cheap because you're buying it from Amazon. And like I said, they sell quick ship controllers. So here you have it here. You got the disc, you got the removable thumbsticks and you got the concaves, all black, scuff. And you got the paddles here as well. So uh, four paddles, fully customizable. Tr trigger stops already in there. Uh, the rumbles are in here. I wanted them with rumbles. So you do have the option to get rumbles or no rumbles from Amazon. You get to choose. So I'll put the link in the description below. So this is the blacked out Scuff Infinity One. Controller number three. We have the Titanfall, original Titanfall for the Xbox One. This is an original Xbox One controller. As you can see, it does not have the port for the auxiliary. Uh, you have your standard logos, color customizations on the controller. You have the whites. You have your orange, you have your blacks, you got your grays, like a gun dark grays. You also have your logos and your wording in here. I don't know if you can see that. You have the Titanfall logo symbol. You have more stuff here. And then you have some on the side. So this is an original Xbox One controller, Titanfall version. Moving along to the fourth controller, I have your Optic Gaming new optic green wall scuff infinity one controller and as you can see here you got the green wall pattern you got the optic gaming logo you have the metallic silver you got your four paddles in the back and they both all four of them say optic scuff 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 optic infinity you got the optic logo on the button and pretty much you got your pro grip and this is one of the new versions of the controller infinity one concave sticks removable thumbsticks trigger stops pretty much the whole shebang fully customizable as well and i picked this up at amazon as well too so yes amazon does sell scuff scuff sells off of amazon as their store so go check that out so this is an awesome controller you got the metallic silver buttons all silvered out pretty awesome i like this this is probably one, one of my favorite controllers the grip it just man it's just like so soft like smooth and soft and comfortable and you just like the grip's amazing i'm not gonna lie scuff has the best grip on their controllers now controller number five it's another scuff controller and this is the original scuff one for the xbox one so you see it here in the bottom right there you got your scuff one original you can tell it's original because it doesn't have the auxiliary port and also you got the thumbsticks are a little bit different and you got the removable piece here usually the infinity ones have the scuff up here logo you know domed out and this is also fully customizable trigger stops 
concave sticks, blacked out, matte black, pretty much this controls backed out. And this is a TK controller, Team Caliber controller. Yes, I know I have an esports team, Final Feature Gaming. Hopefully soon I do a deal with Scuff and I could do codes and we sell FFG controllers. But I do represent all the other orgs as well. I show support just a lot, just as the same as I want them to show support to me. So yeah, uh, this one I picked this up at MLG X Games Austin. Down to the sixth controller, we have the Halo 5 Guardians Master Chief Collector's Edition controller. Here you have the UNSC, you got the chrome, metallic, gold copper, you know, like a gold copperish color. Same thing here, but this one's matte like a matte color and this was chrome you got the chrome look you got the army green camo you got the camo out buttons as well check that out you got the colors you also got some symbols here another symbol there and uh, you have a little looks like kind of like braille it feels like braille in the back see that there it's like a braille how many of y'all know what that symbol what that symbol means if you let me know in the comments below if you do know what it means so this is probably one of my favorite Halo 5 Guardians Collector's Edition. When you do buy the controller, you also get a free rec pack. So let's move on to the next one. My next controller in line is also a Halo 5 Guardians Collector's Edition Spartan Lock controller. This is also one of my favorites. I like the color on this. You got the blue, like an aqua blue chrome. You got the gunmetal gray up here. You got the satin matte, you know, gunmetal gray as well. Gray, you got the metallic silver. You also got like some cool uh, lettering. These are the Spartans from Spartan Locks team. You also got you know a little more designs here. I don't know if you can see that there, this one looks like the ODST here. You got the Omni, and then of course here, if you can see it's small in the lettering, you see a little symbol on the D-pad as well. And you got the little shape patterns here. It's also like uh, etched out. I don't know if you can tell really, really well. It's pretty etched out. I like it. So yeah, this is also a good controller so check that out following up is now the xbox one white xbox one s white controller that you get when you purchase the xbox one s nothing fancy just a little bit redesigned uh you do get the auxiliary in the bottom uh, it has uh like semi grip i don't know if you can tell here so you see like little grooves uh i don't know if i get lighting you see the little grooves here so semi grip Nothing special about this controller besides this being white and you have the white logo here as well, lighting up white. Now we are down to the ninth controller. The ninth controller I have here is a Gears of War 4 Collector's Edition controller that I got with the Xbox One S Collector's Edition. So it is a red, omen red, blood red splatter. You got like the matte finish, red, blood splatter. Uh, I like the buttons here. They're different font. I don't know if you can tell, see it really well. They're a different font. You got the etching, like someone like scratched it, which is pretty cool. This is, one thing I like about this controller is the etching. Like someone just grabbed the controller with nails and scratched it all up. Check that out. I don't know if you can, you can see it there. Yeah, you can. It looks pretty awesome. You got the front, the side, the top, and then you got the bat. You got the JD Phoenix logo here. And you have, you know, the cog symbol. And you have more etching right here on the side. Check that out. Pretty dope. I like this. Pretty awesome controller. Moving on to number 10. And this is one of my favorite controllers. The Xbox One Elite controller. Check that bad boy out. You can tell it has some use on it because it's all dirty. You see my smudge print and then all that. You got the D-pad. They're all removable. D-pad, thumbsticks, concaves. You get long sticks. It's all magnetic. You get that all blacked out. You get to switch it to either Halo, Call of Duty, or whatever game FPS you play. Uh, you got the thumbsticks as well here. And you got the triggers, left bumper and right bumper, all metallic out, like a matte metallic silver. And then you have your trigger stops here at the back. Move them up for non-trigger. Put them down to put stops. So pretty awesome controller. I don't have the paddles on this one because sometimes I don't use the paddles. I only use it mainly for the trigger stops on this controller. So yeah, one of my favorites. Last but not least, we move on to another collector's edition Gears of War 4 Elite controller. So there you have it. Just like the red one, standard version for the Xbox One S, this also has the scratches. You can see there, you do have the removable thumbsticks. If you move them around, there's like a little saying there. I don't know if you can see that pretty closely. There you go. You can remove the D-pad. You got your Blood Omen Red. You also see in the D-pad, also a little saying. It says, Grub Killer. Yeah, baby. And then you have a little, 
you know, blood stains, fingerprint, actually it's a fingerprint and a fingerprint blood stain. And then you have the JD Phoenix logo in the back. And on this one, I do use a paddle for Gears of War 4. And of course your trigger stops chrome red, you got them here. And this is a new version, as you can already tell. The grip, I love the grip on these controllers, on the Elite controllers, it's pretty awesome. They don't compare to the scuff grip, the pro grip, but I do love them, it's pretty awesome. So, this is probably one of my favorite controllers as well. I'm, if I had to choose between the Elite and Scuff, I love Scuff, but I would choose the Elite. Only thing I would change is if I use the Scuff Grip Pro Grip on the Elite controller, we're freaking golden. The only reason why I do not like the Xbox One S Scuff controller is because the paddles are facing down. These paddles are curved to my finger so I can grab it like that. I don't I can't play like this. I could play like this. Like I can always keep my hands on my controller, but if I do this, I'm always reaching for the paddle. So regardless, uh I would only put the scuff grip on this controller. Although I do have PlayStation 4 scuff controllers, Infinity Ones, I prefer the scuff on PlayStation. I think scuff controllers are a whole lot better on playstation than they are in xbox one all right so that concludes the video of my xbox one controller collection uh drop some comments below if you want to see another collection i will do that as well i'll do my pokemon collection i'll do my marvel comics collection comic cards freaking pops whatever you want i probably have all types of freaking collections i'm a huge gamer at heart anime freak i'm just a straight up nerd to be honest so yeah, that's pretty much it for my collection. So if you really enjoyed this video, please drop some likes, throw some comments below and let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite controller? Which one's the least favorite? Uh, do you prefer scuff, non-scuff? I don't know, let me know. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop the thumbs up. And uh, until next time, uh, thank you guys and gals for watching. I'm GT, signing out, and I'll see you guys and gals later. Adios.